you you what is going on guys this is me bad man okay black hat man today i'm back again with another tutorial and a tutorial for you guys and what i decided to teach you today is called image view so what actually image view is so let me just um show you an example yep this is image view this is image view uh, these are all these parts this um rectangle is image view this blue rectangle is image view image view image view this is exactly an image view my um uh, user icon and image view so image views are the widgets that you can use to show the user uh, what image you want whatever image you want and that is here under the widgets tab um, click on this image view and leave it on the middle of your screen type excuse me screen device screen so as you can see now it's um content is on wrap okay it's layout width and height is on wrap content and wrap as you can remember uh, if you remember um, wrap content wraps the content in it and for now because of the, uh, we don't have any content in that and we have a zero space and if I click on somewhere else we have nothing here okay and so let's have an image there so I want to uh, teach you two different uh, things you can do with uh, image views that people mostly uh, make mistake about them so what are they that is called background and called src source so what is background what background does let's say we have an image yep we have an image of myself and you can do it with yours uh, who cares so as you can see here I have uh, my image here and that that is it and I want to copy this image in my um, drawable folder on the rest directory in my drawable folder I wanna paste that so paste yep I want to paste that and as you can see it's here and if I double click on that um, Android Studio will open that for me um, and this is my picture so what I want to do now is that I want to set that for my background so just look at the background so it's in my drawable and it is called IMG underscore myself yep that is it so okay so as you can see um, now my image view has filled the device screen um, on my screen it has filled it and and here um, in layout within high um, it's unwrapped content and it wraps the um, picture and if you look at here uh, my picture is a 1920 by 1080 picture pixels okay it is it is a full HD picture and it's almost a rectangle but um, here it is uh, fucked up okay <laughs> um, background fucks up the image you have okay so if I clear that it's now set to my background okay but let's see what happens if I put this on src so come here paste it okay as you can see again image view has filled all the device screen on my screen but the important thing is that um, my image is now the actual size it is okay is this the actual size it is now on my desktop okay so 
did you get the difference between um, background and the SRC you should um, SRC um, fits the actual size of the image into your image view without um, fucking up the pixels and width and height so let's say if I wanted to change that to 250 and as you can see it changed um, dramatically <laughs> it changed epically epically and that is it but let's say no not let's say let's just see that wrap content and that is it so um i wanna um, teach you an app that we have a, an image view and whenever the you clicks on one of these um, buttons that we are going to have whenever a user clicks on those buttons it goes to next and the previous image we have but it doesn't fit in this um uh fit in this uh, lesson in this session and I wanna teach you in the next um, tutorial because it is a little big, uh, big deal. Okay, it's a big deal. So I don't wanna push you too hard in one session. So let's give them what? Uh huh. Let's show you scale type. Yep. The other thing that I want you to know about uh, image views is that a scale type um, sets the the scale on the type of uh, what you enter, what you choose. Okay, we have different types here: scale types, matrix, fitix, y, uh, fitix, fit start, fit center, fit end, center, uh, center crop. Okay, so just look at the image uh, I have here, and let's have matrix. As you can see now, my image is fucked up again. Okay, um, if I wanted to show you the image is where actually okay where is my image actually uh, being located? Look at this part. Look at just um, this part. We have a nice shady um, gray to dark black uh, color. Okay, in this part, and look at just this part we have that here so actually our image is in this place that my mouse is running here 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 and maybe it's um it has gone through um uh, out of the screen so, uh, screen of my laptop okay so i think maybe my face my face maybe it be um somewhere around here yeah that is it here so let's have the other thing uh, that was the matrix let's put it on fitix y that actually um, works something like the background something like the background fucked up or actually fucks up that way so that was the fitix y fit start it uh, fits the image from the start of your screen uh, start of excuse me image view the widget you have um, fit center fits it to the center um, as SRC works the same um, fit in fits the image you have what a widget image you have and the other thing is center but what is the difference between center and fit center so fit center actually fits um, all the pixels of the image as you can see all the pixels of the pixels of the image in the center but if you put it on center it finds it searches and finds the center of your image and puts that in the center okay puts that on the uh, this is the center of my image so that puts on puts that on my uh, image view so the other thing is center crop and that almost works the same almost but it actually um, crops the center for me nicely and it is a uh, fit uh, excuse me center crop is much more better than center if you have a face 
of you yourself or uh, everybody else everyone else in your picture in the center of your picture so that was the scale type so for now uh, let's have that and let's put it on on set and let's get ready for our next tutorial which we wanna have um, that program that when you click on those buttons um, it change the changes the pictures to the next and the previous uh, image you have so let's give it an ID of um, how should be that 300 that was the width and height be on 300 so let it be there and that actually looks good so what else should we have we should have a button here for our next uh, picture image and we have another button uh, for our previous image and let's have a um, yep let's have a to show us um, what and which picture actually we are now so this is our image view whenever we click on this button it goes to the next image we have and uh, this here let's say we have on the first image when you click on this button here says first or one of seven or one of ten one of everything it is one of fuck one of I don't know just one of everything okay every every picture we have one of them and when you click on this button um, it goes back it goes to the previous image you had so let's give each each one of these um an ID with them let us RC be that the same image view let's have ACTV underscore image view enter come on yeah I want it come on why are we scanning files man I just want an ID so double click on that and let's give that one an ID of ACTV underscore TXT view that for our button says um, next uh huh next with double x next um ACTV um next and for the last one let's say that previous and for that ACTV previous so um we don't have time for this um, session anymore for this lesson um, I'll catch you in the next tutorial so that was it for today um, make sure you keep watching my tutorials make sure to check out the next tutorial uh, that I wanna uh, teach you how to uh, work with these IDs and these image views and how to get to the good stuff with image views so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please do me a favor hit the th uh, thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't yet and I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching me and my tutorials and make sure to check out uh, I also I have um, Java tutorials be, re be recording and I'm uploading them um, already so make sure to check them up and Catch you in the next tutorial. Make sure to watch them. Make sure to watch them. Okay? See you then.